Hello there men and welcome to the Masculinism Movement channel, a place for men to be men and talk about masculinity and men's issues. I'm your host Brian Crawl, and today I'm here to tell you that the future is male. Feminists may say the future is female, but how can that be? For as I mentioned previously, men can reproduce without women, but they can't do so without us. And if the future is female, why is feminism trying to get women to be more masculine? That just makes it seem like the future is actually male. Because it is. So stop dating and trying to connect with women in any kind of romantic or sexual way and start using porn instead. If enough of us do it, it will put an end to modern feminism and cause women to be forced to change their evil ways of using men through our reproductive means. Because even though women may say they don't need men, they actually do. They are not strong and independent. They are dependent upon men for their very survival. The problem is that there's way too many simps out there supplicating to women all the time, allowing themselves to be enslaved by them. However, due to women's hypergamous instincts, they generally won't settle for men who are beneath them, which most simps are. And if you stop chasing women and instead start focusing on you and leading the life you want, you will become a high quality man that women want. And when they realize they can't have you, they will want you even more. For instance, since I stopped spending all my free time chasing women, I've had enough time to work out almost every single day for the past five years, and I've become very muscular. So now women are noticing me more than ever. And when they look at me and want my attention and I just give them the cold shoulder, it drives them mad and just makes them try harder. If enough men do this, women will be forced to change. They don't want to have to actually be independent or settle for lower tier men who can't get anyone else. And society needs reproduction, okay? And if we stop reproducing with women, the government will be forced to try to help create the change that is needed for men and women to come back together and start reproducing again, as has happened in a number of other countries. And now because we don't need women to reproduce by having test tube babies, but they do still need male sperm to do so, we actually have the ability to take control of the means of reproduction. And our protesting by going our own way could very well actually cause the laws about reproduction and marriage and divorce that favor women and are against men to change. And there's other aspects of society and laws that are biased towards women that could be forced to change as well. So if you have problems with women at work and refuse to work on teams with them or be alone in the same room with them, companies will be forced to stop treating women like children and giving them constant help and supervision and pandering to them and allowing them to steal men's work and then throw them under the buses. You know, this will enact change in the workplace. All right, so stop thinking with your penis and with your emotional mind. Use your rational, critical thinking brain. Stop letting yourself get used by women and do what is right for you. There are no real benefits to being in a relationship for a man. Being alone or watching porn is more relaxing than having female company or having sex with a female. Using an artificial vagina will actually feel better than a female vagina. That's why they were designed. And you'll be able to get more sexual pleasure these ways without any of the drama and female toxicity. And whenever you are around women in the real world, just ignore them. Don't let them hijack your attention and just do you. Start doing whatever it is you want to do with your life and stop letting women control you. This is so easy to do 
and you will just see the quality of your life get better. And eventually, if enough men do this, society will get better too, and we will be able to return to the patriarchy in which men wield the power in civilization. So that concludes this talk. Thank you for listening. I hope I mansplained that well enough for you guys out there. Be sure to share your own thoughts and opinions by commenting below, and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share these messages with everyone by sharing the video on social media and talking about these things too. And lastly, check out the links in the description below for other resources for your masculine personal development and living the life you want to as an independent man. And if you can afford to donate, please do so with the PayPal link below because your support funds me doing this work and fighting the good fight for men like you. And you can stay tuned for the next video coming out soon, which will be on female fertility. And make sure you subscribe so you'll be notified when that is. And until then, take care of yourselves, men, because no woman out there is going to.